that's the cutlass bearing. Oh, so okay. what it is, is it's a bearing like that. It's a, it's not actually a bearing like a ball race. It's just oh, has no, like various that. faces that the shaft rubs against. And yeah. the reason these grooves are here to allow water to go through because it's water, water lubricated and water cooled. Oh, okay. okay gotcha. So yeah. when we've got three mil play, you can see this one, though quite old, has still got very yeah. little play. That means that there's three millimeters of movement in the whole shaft. Yeah, which, which is too loose. Yeah, which is too loose. So there's probably two cutlass bearings, one in the stern tube that goes out through the back of the boat. Yep. And the other, so there's where it comes out through the back of the boat like this. Yep. Yeah, like that. The front. There'll be likely to be a cutlass bearing there and there'll be a cutlass yep. bearing on the bracket. This is how it's removed. Oh yeah. With one of these toolie dolls. Yep. And then the new one's wound back in. I'm a big fan of these composite um, cutlass bearings because they, um, yeah, they're a lot easier to get in and out in the future.